time and let's see if anyone pops on. I don't, I don't know. Mittens, come here. You want to say hi? You want to say hi, Mama? Come here. Come here, Mama. Come on. Come here. Oh, yeah. Let's see if anyone says hello. We don't know if anyone's going to say hi, but we'll see. We'll see if anyone says hello. We'll just give a little. Yes, you say hello. You say hello. <laughs> Look how close you are to the camera. That's funny. I have no idea. Let's see if anybody says hi. Can I even see the chat? I don't even know. Let's see. Top chat, live chat. None. No, I don't want to do that. I want to see. Live chat. I want to see. Okay. Hey, Sylvia. Hi. So I couldn't go on earlier. Um, I just did my interview on Kiki.fm. So I missed you guys so much. Isn't that crazy? Hey, Piper. Say hi to Mittens. Is Mitten. She's a little Mitten. My baby girl. <laughs> She's frightened. She's like, what is going on? So I just figured I'd pop on because... I, I live like how crazy is it that I missed you guys? I did. Hi. Um, yeah, but it was a great interview tonight with Robert. And I don't even know where to look on this thing either. On this this uh iPad. So I'm looking over here. I'm hoping you guys <laughs> I don't know. This is crazy. But I wanted to do this because I just wanted to say hi. Mittens is baby girl. She's like 14. Say hello to Piper. Say hi, Piper. Say the baby girl. She's the baby girl. Huh. She's my mama. She comes and she says hi to me all day. She'll want to get up. Yes. Yes. Little baby girl. Yes, she's my baby. She loves her mama. I love her. So I hope you guys are having a great Friday. I hope that you have something great planned for the weekend. I do. I'm going to Boston tomorrow with my friends, so I'm excited about that. Oh, isn't she cute? She's so sweet. I mean, 14 years old, she still looks like a baby. She looks like a baby. Mittens, don't you look like a baby? And Louie's mad. He's going to start, well, he was barking. So I'm glad I can see the little messages pop up. That's good. Yeah, did you guys get to listen to the interview on Kiki.fm? I hope so. Robert Fleischman is just such a great guy. And he just has some pretty cool stories. So that was a lot of fun. Yeah, and tomorrow, so we're going to go to a few consignment shops in Boston. And of course, we'll get a great lunch because better than that and then we'll head home and then it'll be Sunday oh my gosh I can't believe that and then I'm already thinking about how the weekend's going to be over and then you have to prepare for the week your singer lives to 14 I'm telling you and Sylvia said no plants here unless it's four feet of snow please no <laughs> I hope there's not four feet of snow for you Sylvia so here's the thing here in Rhode Island they said that we're supposed to get snow tomorrow, but then I saw that it's going to be 60 degrees. So I can't, I don't, I don't think that's happening. I really don't. So this is fresh face kids. No makeup. I took it all off. I got my Retin-A on, my Vaseline. No, I can't stand snow. I'm done with the snow. I think, Doug, you guys must have a lot in Canada, but I am completely done. We had some warm weather here. Four feet there, Sylvia. Sylvia, where are you? Um, our snow is pretty much melted here in Rhode Island, thank goodness. I'm so over it. And I'm over the cold. I'm done. Just completely done. Geez, at least on the in the studio, I'm a little bit further away, so I I'm a little more filtered. Aw, thank you, Sylvia. You're so sweet. I appreciate that. Northern Ontario, Canada. Oh my gosh. I can't even imagine how much snow. Like, 
our friend Karen lives in Canada as well, and it's just crazy. She said it's always snowing. And Piper, she just had 12 inches. Yeah, last weekend on Saturday, I had no jacket on, walking around, went to a yard sale outside. It was so crazy. It was almost 70 degrees. And then Sunday we got 10 feet, 10 feet, 10 inches of snow. So it, it this weather is absolutely insane. And who can figure it out? But it's okay because I can feel that spring is on the way and I'm happy about that. I'm guessing not in Canada, but definitely in Rhode Island we can feel some spring. Sorry guys, this is moving around as I move around because I'm very animated. Eastern Upper Peninsula. That's just, wow. Well, hopefully you guys get some warmth soon. I will, here, I'm sending some your way. <laughs> oh my goodness. How are gas prices there, Sylvia? I'm kind of curious. I talked to somebody in San Diego today and she told me it's like five fifty a gallon in San Diego, California. Here on Rhode Island, I'm not seeing four. I'm sure some places four. And Sylvie said, it's still snowing here, rain tomorrow. You can't figure, you just have to kind of go with it. It's true. Have my water. I already have my two, uh, my two glasses of Prosecco, which was fabulous on the Friday. Again, I'm sorry this is moving around, but I can't sit still. I'm like, I have, I have sitting still issues. Um, Al is never behaving himself, Piper, like ever. And Sylvia said hi, but not as high as they've been though. Yeah, well, that's good. That's good. I mean, you can just feel that spring is in the air. You want some Prosecco or water? <laughs> water, you can have that. Prosecco, I think I drank the last little bottle. Al gets me the little bottles. Al is, um, he's around, he's doing stuff, he's working on studio stuff. Always working, guys. Seven days a week. Johnny! What's up, Johnny? Yeah, so Al's working on the studio stuff, and that's always happening. Like, always. Seven days a week. Oh, Prosecco. Yeah. You know, I had the Minetto Prosecco for so long, and now I've been drinking, I think it's Luna. And it's pretty good. Al got me another brand a couple weeks ago and I'm like, I don't remember it. And I'm like, I don't want to remember it. I'm fine. I like my Luna that I have now. It's pretty good. So yeah, everybody say hi to Johnny. Johnny's got two Corvettes and Al's convinced he's going to go take a ride. <laughs> oh my gosh. This is crazy. I don't know if I like this iPad. It, it doesn't have a filter. <laughs> is it gluten free? I'm not sure. I I eat gluten. Um, I'm very fortunate I don't have that problem. I don't need to uh, be concerned. So we went to Market Basket this morning. I don't know if you heard that conversation. And it was great because in the morning on a Friday, they're getting everything ready for the weekend. So they have all the fresh produce out. We went right when they opened at seven o'clock and it was awesome. There was hardly anyone there. Oh, you're celiac. Yeah. I have a friend, a good friend who's celiac as well. And it's so hard. Like when we used to go out for lunches for work and stuff, it was so hard because there was only so many places she could eat at and so many things she could eat. Um, so we always had to be mindful of where we could go. And it was good because we knew where we could go to lunch and where we couldn't. So there was always, you know, of course we went places that she could go. My daily trip, my daily trip to uh, get Prosecco. No, I'm just kidding. I don't have Prosecco. I have Prosecco on Friday nights and sometimes on a Saturday. Yeah, so uh, we have um, a few local restaurants that are really, they have really great gluten-free options, but a lot of them don't, you know? Actually, there's one, it's a big chain too. It's getting better and I like to cook. Thank goodness you like to cook because really it's true. 
some restaurants will tell you they're gluten free and they're not. We learned that from my friend, you know, because she, you know, we would go to restaurants and they would say, oh yeah, this is gluten free. And then she would get sick. So clearly they weren't. Oh, market basket. Yeah, that's my daily drink. Um, I love it, Piper. I can't help it. It's just my, it's my jam now. I'm so glad. So Sylvia said, I can drink wine. I can drink gluten-free beer. You know what? I did not know they had gluten-free beer. I had no idea. Isn't that crazy? They have gluten-free, I think. I think so many more options now with regards to gluten-free foods and drinks which is great. I mean, but it's, you know what? I, I think it's sad that it's a bit more expensive. I understand they have to take more um, precautions and safety measures, but they really have to charge that much more for all that stuff. I'll never forget, we went to a farmer's market a couple of years ago and they had gluten-free loaves of bread. They were $12 for a loaf of bread. It was crazy. That is insanity. Oh, you can drink tequila. Well, there you go. If it's your favorite, you and tequila go way back. So let me tell you a little quick story. Al and I, when we went to Cancun, it was a sin trip. You know what? I, we don't have world market, so I don't know. So Al and I went to Cancun again, sin trip. We weren't married. My mom is really mad. And we had both had tequila. We met people from... Massachusetts, I think, and we were dancing till five o'clock in the morning, and Al ate the worm, and the next, well, it wasn't morning, because it was already morning, we were dancing until five o'clock a.m., and when we got up at, what, one, two o'clock in the afternoon, I found Al under the sink in the hotel. He was under the bathroom sink in our room, so... That's tequila. That's the last time I recall us drinking tequila. We didn't have it since because it was just a bad deal. Yeah, it was, but it was kind of funny. Yes, we are having a slumber party. Why not? Because I didn't get to chat with you guys earlier. So I said, you know what? I miss my peeps. I got to come and say hi. I have to. I was all sad. I missed you guys tonight. So I just had to come and say hi for a little bit before I head off to slumber. Because again, we're going to Boston tomorrow. I'm so excited. I know I don't get out much. Sylvia couldn't bring myself to do that. I threw my worm away after cruising. Out. I I didn't eat the worm. I'll eat the worm. I did not. No worm for me. So what are you guys doing this weekend? Anything fun? Someone's got to be doing something fun. Oh. Thank you, Piper. I miss you. And I'm glad you're back. We haven't seen you for a little bit, but now you're back. Piper's back, 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 back in town. town, town. I know my, my iPad's moving because it's on a pillow. We're giving it. I'm just trying to make it a little more secure. Well, I'm glad that my little puppy, Louie, hasn't uh, started going bonkers. Because normally if I'm away from him and he knows that I'm somewhere around him, he goes insane. You're painting your kitchen? Oh my gosh, you have to send us pictures. I want to see. I just painted my bathroom. Piper cleaning the house. Yeah, you're back. Thank goodness. So, Jotty, are you painting the cabinets? Are you painting the walls? What are you doing? And Piper cleaning the house. That's always, that's a, that's a chore, isn't it? It's just always something to do laundry you know it's so sad though now that we're empty nesters um I don't have as much laundry I don't have as much cooking but I still cook and all that but it is sad that I don't have the hustle and bustle oh you're doing the walls nice so when is Claudia coming back to you Jotty I would think Maybe she's returning in the next couple of weeks. Hopefully her dad's okay. Um, what's your favorite Lou Graham song? Solo and with Donna. Midnight Blue, for sure. And, you know, Jukebox Hero is great. 
soon, very good. I'm glad she's coming back soon. That's awesome. Um, I just, Lou Graham, oh my gosh, that's right. He's coming close by in, Feb in uh, May, February. Oh my gosh, we're in February. So I'm excited. We're going to go see him. What's your favorite Lou Graham solo and foreigner song? Midnight Blue, gosh. I, I have to say, though, that is just one of my faves. And, you know, I always think of Lou with his curly hair. And, you know, isn't it weird how... I don't know. Like, we think about all of these people that we loved back in the 70s and the 80s and how they've changed and how they are now I still love them like I don't I don't care what they look like now as long as they're healthy and they're having a good life I really don't care you know Piper mine is between you oh my god just between you and me and I want to know of those perfect picks um, I, I just, it doesn't bother me because we're all getting older, ew, but we, we are and we've all changed and I just appreciate the artists that we've grown up with and loved and I don't know, it's just, I still love them, I still love them. Do I think about them back in the 80s and 70s and stuff? Of course, hello. Like Bon Jovi, my gosh. I mean, he's so freaking hot then. But he's still hot now in a different way, though. Cezanne, that's awesome. You're going to see Lou again. My fave songs by him, Solo with Foreigner, are just between you and me. And that was, oh my God. That was yesterday. I got the world in my head. I can't. I can't. I just. Guys, Foreigner, come on, Foreigner, like, it's just, is this shaking bothering you? Should I, like, I feel so bad. I'm so not used to this iPad thing, but Foreigner A should be in the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame. A Foreigner with Kelly Hansen, I think is great. I think Kelly has done an amazing job with the band. Lou Graham. I love Lou. I just can't. And I am so fortunate I have been able to talk to Lou as much as I have and seen him. Oh my gosh, I can't. DG, how the heck are ya? I missed you guys tonight. That's why I'm here. My pajamas. <laughs> my deaf my deaf leopard shirt. You can't see it, but I just love Warner. I just and Journey. So who's excited about the new Journey album coming out? They didn't give a date yet, but that's coming out soon. I am good. I am good. DG, I just came on here because I, I missed you guys. <laughs> you know, it was a great interview with Robert tonight, but I was like, what are you doing? You can't go on now. I said, yeah, I can. I just, I have to say hi. You know, whether anyone cares or not, it's fine. Um, I just had to, just felt like I had to, and I'm going to do a little video of our day trip to Boston tomorrow. That should be out at some point next week. I, I don't know. Sylvia, you're in your jammies having a beer and a pop. <laughs> Good for you. And Cezanne, am I saying your name correctly? Foreigner, truly amazing. And I'm sorry, your comment just went away, so I didn't see the last half of it. I hope you're saying your name correctly correctly um yeah so the journey album freedom just like the name of their tour everybody's so stoked about it no release date it's gotta be coming out soon though you're hanging with us now dg you're hanging we're all hanging together oh you mean in boston oh my god i am it's so funny you know, like I said, we're empty nesters and we work literally seven days a week doing all kinds of things. And one of them, the, the radio YouTube thing is an everyday thing. Every single day, seven days a week. Kendra! K 
Kendra, congratulations on your new car. I don't even know what it looks like, but you know, it's fine. Um, I can scroll. I don't think I can though on here. Can I? Can I scroll? All right, it says live chat. I just see them pop. Oh, all right. So some of them popped up. Get together and do a meet like you did with Perry. That would be so funny. Who wants to meet me? Meet me. That's so funny. Um, I appreciate that, but I am so boring. Um, literally. So I was saying, like, we we work all the time, and it's just, it's so silly and so simple that I'm excited about going to Boston for the day. But hold my finger on it. Right, I'm doing that. I just did it, but it didn't work. All right, wait a minute. I don't know. It says live chat. All right, so I'm, I don't know. And now they, they come up, but I don't know. All right, who's texting me? Is it Kendra? No, I don't know. Anyway, we did get to a thousand followers on TikTok, so I'm trying to convince Al to go on TikTok. Oh my gosh. Oh, Jotty has socks for DG. How freaking cute is that? Like every, now I, now I have our viewers and stuff sending each other gifts. Like how amazing is that? That, is, that makes me so happy. And DG gave Jotty her address, the Pink Floyd socks. Guys, come on. That's flipping cool. That is just amazing. I feel like I should have a snack right now, but I, it's too late. What time is it? It is 10.01. I can't have a snack. A snack. I was going to say I can't have a sock, but I meant to say I can't have a snack. But, oh, see my sock. Okay. <laughs> Did I get, I don't know who's, I don't know what's going on. Wait a minute. I feel like I'm getting met, but I did. So, all right, Kiki, are you in portrait or landscape? Go portrait and chat will show up. I don't know how to do that. I don't, all right. I don't know how to do it. <laughs> I'm just gonna like stay here because I'm afraid if I do it, I'll lose you guys. I'll just sit here. Chocolate covered socks. Oh my gosh, no. Wouldn't that be, that'd be kind of like, I bet some weird people would like chocolate covered socks, but you'd have to wear them. That's probably an OnlyFans thing. Kendra and I talk about these things all the time. Kendra's like, we should take picture of our, pictures of our feet and sell them. I said, we did consider it. I'm not going to lie. Just turn my iPad around. Carrie, good evening. Kiki, I just want to say hi. I'm a subscriber and everything. Chat live since I walked too late. Well, Carrie, thank you for stopping by. That's so cool. I look like crap, but it's all good. Thank you for coming by. I'm glad you were able to... And thank you for subscribing. I appreciate that. I don't want to turn my iPad around. I'm afraid. Like if I turn, wait, wait a minute. If I turn it around. Oh, how about I do that? Oh, that's my couch. Did you see it? That was my, that was my couch with my blankie. So I'm not going to do that again. I'm just going to leave it right here. I feel like I should get a snack though. Oh, hold on. Just stay there, guys. I have my Christmas pajama bottoms on. I'm just saying. So I got this stuff. I probably shouldn't be eating it because it's really, I don't know, but it's dark chocolate sea salt. I know he's not here to. No, 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 no. All right. So this stuff is really good. It's for a lot. Mittens, do you, do you guys want to see my cat? Oh. <laughs> this stuff is so good. Why am I fire by again? Come here, mama. No, I can't have that. It's chocolate. I don't know. So Piper already saw mittens. Here's mittens. She's 14. I know. Look at this baby girl. Little baby cat. Say hi. Hello. 
close. Everybody's so mad at you. They love you. My baby. She is. Oh, okay. So, you want to say here? It's by the Bakery of Maine. And dark chocolate sea salt decadent granola. It's so good. I mean, this stuff is high in cal. No, you cannot eat it. It's kind of high in cal calories, but I need a little something something. Because I'm hungry. We ate dinner a while ago. This is what happens when you stay up late. How do you keep kitties from destroying furniture? Well, this baby girl doesn't have front claws. I know. You should get it. I recommend this highly. I've never had this before. So good. Jotty, you're probably the only guy in here. I think so. I think you are. But so what? You can hang with the ladies. Mine's one fifty for a quarter a cup. This is one forty for half a cup. No, and you can't stop a kitty from scratching. She's just, you know. But you know what I find fascinating when she eats her Jotty, you just hang with the ladies. It's all good. She eats her toenails, like, on her back paws. It's the weirdest thing. Um, you know what? I don't think you can do that anymore. I don't think the clawing is a thing. I think that's a thing of the past. But she's 14. So we've had her a very long time. Cause, all right, so this is the story. Mittens, we're going to tell the story of Mittens. The story of Mittens. One day, I went to the vet with my dog. Daisy, who has since passed. And a lady came in and she said to the vet, I can't keep this kitten, I already have seven. So I <laughs> said, well, I'll take that. And the vet's like, yeah, okay, that's fine. And we've had her ever since, yeah. So, 14 years later, we've had mittens and we got her from the vet. We, every, well, all right. Our dog, Daisy, Al purchased from the pet store. However, she was the runt of the litter, so I feel like we rescued her. All Journey songs are great, but fave, my fave, it's gotta, it's gotta be Don't Stop Believing. I mean, I can't, you know, I mean, I kind of love that one. Wheel in the Sky, I have an affinity, infinity for that, get it? Because it was on the Infinity album, but I have an affinity for it because our buddy Robert Fleischman co-wrote it. So I do have you know, a little bit of a something something for that song. Foolish Heart, I mean, Mr. Steve Perry. Let's talk about him for a second. Because Al's not here, so I can talk about Steve Perry. I love Steve. Yeah, Mittens, you want to talk about Steve Perry? She said, sure, because dad isn't here, so he won't yell and say, don't talk about Steve Perry. Where has he been? Now, see, he's hiding now. Cezanne, Don't Stop Believing is an all-time favorite song, definitely amazing. How could it not be, right? That is the anthem song of anthem songs. Um, Robert is awesome, I just have to tell you. So Steve Perry, we can't say too much at this moment for the simple fact that he goes into hiding. Piper Faithfully is great. Why does she do that? I'm figuring about April, we'll, have so we'll hear something from Steve Perry again. I don't know why he, he like doesn't talk for a few months. You guys noticed that? He was all over. November and December because of his Christmas album and then quiet. like we don't hear a thing from him yeah oh Peter Baker my real housewives all right Jotty there's another guy for you Peter Baker's here 
I'm Bridget Gibbs with Turn to My Love. Turn to my love. Memories remain. Turn to my love. I love that. Which message, hon? Maybe he's busy. You know, I don't know. I think Steve is just, Steve Harvey's just doing him. Yeah, he, he goes MIA. Posted a picture, I did. I posted it on Instagram and Facebook too. All right, so let me tell you about that. I'll show you. So I went to my state film last week. Yeah. And did I post it, but I'll show you. And, um, so I went to this estate sale, and this guy had this humongous Beatles poster picture thing. And here it is. You probably can't see it that well because of the, see the light, I'm so sorry. That's because I took that picture. Hey, Kathy from Alaska, what's going on? So you can't tell the scope of this, but it's huge. It takes up a whole wall. Sylvie said, isn't he finishing his music? You know, the pieces of paper in his pocket. You know, I guess we can only hope. Um, we can only hope Steve's gonna come out with, you know, he was gonna, all right, let's talk about this. Let's, all right. I'm gonna have some granola and let's, I'm not gonna pay attention to the comments for a second. So I have to get my thoughts straight. Didn't Steve Perry say he was gonna go out and perhaps do some surprise appearances for his Christmas music? Didn't he say that? He did, because I said it, because I read it and I said it after I read it. So I don't know why he didn't go out. And he said he's perhaps going to do some maybe solo shows this year. I haven't heard a thing because I'll be honest with you. I'm kind of holding back going to any shows because I'm hoping Steve Perry announces a show. I want to save for that. Like, I, I want to be there for that. I don't want to miss out on that opportunity. So... That's why I'm kind of holding back on things. I'll be quite honest with you. But now there's nothing being said. Th thank you, Piper. Thank you. I know I, I'm, I'm not crazy because I, I read it and I talked about it. And Gary Stucky probably did too. But nothing. We get nothing. And it's not fair. White right, Mittens? not fair. She said, too, she's mad. She's like, listen, I'm gonna go to Steve Perry show. Right, Mama? Yeah. She said it. Oh my God, this freaking granola is good. But it's a little salty, which I don't like. Salt and chocolate? Shut up. How could that be bad? Right, Mama? Oh my gosh. So we just have to be patient. Wait, I'm gonna wait. I'm waiting, Sylvia. Where am I going? I'm not going anywhere. I want a Steve Perry show. So the funny thing is, we got all these TikTok followers, and well, not really. But if you're bored with a chick by now, you need to show yourself. He's probably not bored. I mean, we don't even know what the chick looks like. How do we know? So we got these followers on TikTok. We have nothing. Trust me. We got over a thousand, which is great. I'm grateful for that. However, when you get followers on TikTok, people send you direct messages. I delete them all, but one guy says, oh, can we go for coffee? No. <laughs> No, we're not going for coffee. I don't even know you. And who does that? And then I think there was an... All right, let's read the direct messages. Hold on. Let, this will be fun. Let's see. I received a message. Wait, let's see what's going on. 
I find it comical and amusing. Let me turn down the volume. Turn down the volume. Oh my gosh, here we go. Okay. All right. Let's see. Let's see. All right. Hello. All right, wait, wait, wait. I won't say the name, but hello, good day. My name is. Mm, I just want. I, I just wondering if you W O D be by interested in making some extra cash today. No. Delete. We're gonna delete that one. Alright, here's alright. This person shared a video. Is it bad? I'm not even gonna look at it. I'm gonna delete that because I'm afraid to even open it. Oh, here's another one. Here's another coffee invitation. Wait, 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 ready? Hi. And then there's a mad face. Nice to meet you. I like traveling, listening to music, and chatting with friends who have common interests. Hold, wait, it gets better. I live in America. If you are, now this is a direct message to me. If you are over 25, live in the United States, you can click the link to add my WhatsApp. <laughs> I cannot. All right, wait, and then, then here's a, they sent one early. We have a chance to, we have a chance to have coffee together. Add my WhatsApp waiting for you. This is like crazy. Oh God. Hold on. Wait, let's see if I have any others. Oh, here's another one. Here's another, wait, here's another TikTok direct message. We have, we have a chance to have coffee together. Add my WhatsApp. Like what, what is this a standard thing? Like we're going to have coffee together. All right, what's this one? Like this video. No, I'm not gonna do that. Why would I do that? Another person shared a video. Oh, Jesus. All right, let's see if there's any. No, that's good, there's no bad ones. I'm glad nobody sent me any because I don't like that. I mean, I've not, it doesn't happen. Thank God. All right, good. All right, no bad ones. I'm still looking. All right. All right, so that's it. So that's good. But, you know, I've got three people that want to have coffee together, which is really strange. Yep, I, I didn't see that. Message. All right, so her, Sylvia, Rick Springfield has a beautiful song named Inside Sylvia. I love that. That's kind of, that's kind of, that's like scary. Kind of scary. I don't even know. I don't know what's going on. I'm just sitting here at my granola. Hanging out with you guys. Was anybody watching on Netflix this weekend? Oh my god. Did you guys see that movie? Well, it's a series. Something Anna. Inventing Anna. Something. With the girl from Ozark. I love her. I absolutely love her. The blonde. Oh my god. The best series on Netflix. I got so, oh, so mad at myself. I get the freaks. Yeah, but you know what? I don't think that was that bad on TikTok, really. We read the direct messages together. It wasn't too bad. So that's good. We got roped into that. Good for you, Sylvia. You shouldn't be a TV watcher. It's bad for you. But I love The Real Housewives. I can't help it. Reality TV is my jam. I know. I can't help it. 90 Day Fiance. Real Housewives of Beverly Hills, Orange County, New Jersey. New York is terrible. Darcy and Stacy, Love them. My 600 pound life. I do watch that. Um... That's about it for reality TV, but this Anna thing, that's on Netflix, a series. It's like a true story. Um, we got totally sucked into it last weekend. And I'm so mad at myself that I wasted that much time watching it because it was literally just repeating itself over and over again in every single, I was so mad. I didn't finish it, and I was up till about 2.30 in the morning, and I'm like, why am I doing this to myself? And I'm not watching it again. 
I'm not, I'm not even going to finish it. I don't even care about it. I'm moving on with my life. It's not even fair. All right, one more. One more. Just one more. Just a little. God, this girl is pissed. I think this is a trick, to be honest. I do hate that. I really do. I don't mind when it's good. Like, Ozark, I was worth it. I have not. Really, this new Scorpions music, I didn't even know. Isn't that true? See, I don't know everything, kid. And I'm never going to sit here. I say it all the time. I will never say to you, I know everything, because I don't. I don't. You guys enlighten me, which is great. You know, Mark will send me stuff. I don't know. You know what? It's okay to misspell. We're just chatting. It's all good. Yeah, so I don't know everything. I don't. Why do I have snowflake pajama pants on? Tell me. But the important thing is, is I have a Def Leppard jersey on. What, is, what else is good on Netflix this weekend? Do you guys know? Or are you not? Well, Sylvie's not watching. I don't know. Get back. I would like to watch that. The Beatles one, but I don't have Disney Plus and I don't want to pay. Rock Believer. That sounds awesome. Yeah, I'm not going to watch a lot of TV this weekend. I'm not. Maybe Sunday I might do a little bit. But. Yeah, so I don't have Disney Plus. I can't watch Get Back. Oh my god. The Tommy and Pam movie? Have you guys seen that on Hulu? I didn't see it. I don't have Hulu either. How many things can you subscribe to? Let's be honest. But there's so much controversy about it. Like, people are, I, I think, getting mad about the Pam and Tommy movie now. They're like, oh, this is wrong. And John Karabi, who was in Motley Proof for a short time, he just came out and said, this is a travesty. Well, he didn't use the word travesty, but he said this movie is BS and it, it shouldn't even be out. And I'm sad for Tommy and his wife, his current Brittany Furling, who is amazing. I love her. She's so funny. Um, I don't have Annie Lovine either. Like, it's so bad. This is bad. But yeah, like a lot of people are just coming out and talking against that show. It's just don't watch it, I guess. You know, if you don't like it. That's the cool thing. You don't have to watch things if it's not for your mind. But I was curious about the Pam and Tommy movie just cut. Not for anything else, but just cut. I love YouTube. I have to tell you. I mean, they have everything. Movies. I watched when the Joan Jett documentary Bad Reputation came out. I think it was, what, my gosh, two years ago now? I bought it and watched it on YouTube. I think it was like six ninety nine or whatever. And I thought it was so cool. I could watch it on YouTube. <laughs> but YouTube does have a lot of great movies. It's good. The acting in the Pam and Tommy movie. I, I just... This week, I've been reading so much stuff on it and how people are mad. I don't know. I just find that interesting. It is kind of cool how, uh, you know, that story happened in, what, the 80s? And now it's they're just making a movie about it now. I just, I don't know. It's crazy. You have YouTube music because you can listen to music without you. Turning, turning off on you. Yeah, well, I mean, I listen to YouTube music all the time. Al goes, oh, where'd you get that playlist from? I'm like, YouTube, it just, I hit a song. I, oh my gosh, Stomp Brothers Johnson. Do you guys know that song? Stop, all I ever got party to the morning light. That song? So I put that song in and then all similar types of music pop up and you can just let it, yeah. And of course I listen to my station because it would be bad if I didn't listen to my station. I do like my station. 
You're still reading Nikki Sixx's hair. Really? Is it good? I would think it's good. It's crazy what happened to him, right? I mean, a lot of these artists that are still with us are so fortunate. I mean, a lot of, a lot of them with the drug use and everything, they're just lucky to be alive. I'm not eating any more of it. So going honest, yeah. I, I mean that. I guess I, I heard is a very good book. I did not read that, either. I wonder if they have the audio on that. I mean, I've I've been very fortunate to meet who I've met. To meet who I've met, that makes no grammatical sense on the planet. I wouldn't say a lot. I, I I'm very fortunate who I have met, I'm just, you know, been blessed for reals. And you guys can meet people too. You know, I, I think here's the thing, right? With the artists we grew up with and we didn't have access to in the seventies or eighties, we kind of have access to most of them now. Some of them we don't, but a lot of them we do, which is really so awesome because they're just so in tune with their fans now. And I think it's a great thing. I really do. And I think 2022 is going to be an awesome year for you guys to go and see shows and everything. Jody, I'm trying to send a picture of the road to shore. <laughs> Stop. Sylvia, please don't be envious. I... You know, again, just blessed. You know, please, please don't. It's just, we, you guys can, can meet people too, seriously. It's, it's so great. Like Lou Graham. All right. So for instance, if you were to go see Lou Graham perform, he goes out after his show and he talks to his fans. He's so, like, he's just so down to earth. Don Felder. Let me tell you a little quick story about him. So when we saw him, oh gosh, now what? It was just before everything shut down. So a couple of years, almost three years ago. Don Felder was so cool. He left the stage and then he comes back out. And he says, I'm going to talk to each and every. He talked to everybody that waited for him after that show. He went up to everybody, shook their hand, said hello to them, talked to them. He was so kind. And there are so many artists like that. So you guys can meet these people as well. You really can Honestly, they're just so sweet. And I, I think this is such a, a nice place for all of us to be in now um, with regards to the artists that we grew up with and loved. I, I really do because most of them, not all of them, but most of them are just in tune with, you know, us because we are all us and we are the ones who continue to support and have supported. Dolly Parton is so awesome. I mean, now she's going to be, she will be inducted into the Rock Hall. I, I would totally think so. She's so cute. She may not be as accessible, cause, right? Because she's just so larger than life. She may not be one that you might be able to, you know. I don't know. Who knows? What am I? What do I know? Yeah, Piper, it's true. Like, you, you can. You can totally. All right, just for instance, say you went to go see a Rick Springfield show. I have not seen Rick Springfield. I would love to see him. And I guarantee you, well, no, I can't say a guarantee because I don't know, but I would, th I would highly think if you bumped into him after the show, he would say hi. He just seems like a nice person. Yep, see, Piper has met several as well. It's, tr it's just true. Why wouldn't, um, you know, let me just, I, I, because I'm thinking of people off the top of my head that I know you're not going to have access to. You, none of us will. 
It's just the way it is. But most, you totally will. And and speaking of Don Felder, seriously, you have to go see him. Like, I, I was blown. We, we, Al and I were blown away. His show was that good. You literally thought you were at an Eagles concert. For sure. He was that great. Um, Eddie Money was wonderful. He talked to everybody after his shows. He was so sweet and kind and really, truly cared about his fans. I'm getting a little emotional. Very sad, but he was great. Um, oh, it's not right that he had to leave us. But anyway, um, it was amazing. So, Joan Jett. She's awesome. Another one who just truly cares about her fans. There's so many. You, you know, guys, I, I, I'm not kidding. You, you, can, you can meet these people. They're that sweet and good. You can. And I think this year is going to be a great year for shows. Aria Speedwagon Lover Boy Stick Show. Oh my god. I know, DG, you're going to the Motley Crew Stadium Tour. And that is happening because they just added 10 more shows. It's going to be interesting with Vince Neil, though. Tony Canal, bass player, no doubt, walked into. Oh, and it went away. Oh. I think you said Border Books. Piper, I think so. Um, yeah, so Motley Crue Stadium Tour, they added 10 more dates, and it's just going to be interesting with the whole Vince Neil thing, and I talked about it yesterday, I don't know if you guys saw it, but Vince scheduled, so Stadium Tour July 15th, and then Vince scheduled a solo show, no, I'm trying, I don't want to yell. Richard. Hi, Richard. So Vince is playing with the stadium tour on July 15th. Then he's doing a solo show on the 16th and then back to stadium tour on the 17th. And it's literally all over the country. So it's going to be interesting. If Vince does the voice lessons like Axel did, stops drinking and gets physically fit. I don't know. The text fades away until you touch your screen. I touch it, but then it says report removed, put user in timeout, hide user on this channel, add moderator. I don't, Sylvia says the text basically, I don't want to ruin anything. I'm touching my, touch the wall. I don't want to, I don't want to make you guys go away. It will be interesting to see what Vince does. You know, I'm curious. I'm, I, Again, you know, and I'm not curious in a bad way. I'm honestly, I'm not. I'm not curious in saying, oh, I hope he fails. I hope he does terrible. No, I'm rooting for Vince. I hope Vince does great. Do I think he's going to? I don't. I'm just being honest about it. I don't think he's going to do great. I just think the stamina that's needed to do what he needs to do for this intense tour. Intense. Have you guys looked at the schedule? The stadium tour is like back-to-back -back shows for a few months. I mean, we're talking bungity, bungity, bungity. I want Vince to do good. I, I, I mean it. I, I truly, from the bottom of my heart, hope that he can do it. I don't think he can, however, but I want him to, I really do. I, I, I wish no ill for anybody, honest to God, I don't. I, I, I really would love to see him kick butt and do what he needs to do. But his solo shows so far this year were only in the middle of February. They have not been good, they're not. And it's, it's worrisome because everybody else that's going out on that tour, even the guys in Motley Crue, they're busting their balls. So 
But he, and again, no fault of Vince either. I mean, if he can't do it, he can't do it. You know, it, every listen. We like I said earlier, we're all getting older, and it's just a fact of life. He's gonna know all the things people are saying when he's in that dress, and not saying things wrong. You know, and, and maybe he can't help it. Just being real. You know, maybe the guy just can't help it. He's been through a lot in his life. I mean, he's been through a lot. And it's okay. You know, it's it's okay if you if you can't handle something. Do I think he really wants to? I do. I you know, I see him. Trump feels in Oh. I'm sure there's a lot going on in Canada. With the truckers, yeah. Yeah. Tons. You know, I I do think Vince wants to to do well. I really truly do. Seeing him, you know, well not seeing him, watching the videos of him at his solo shows, I just feel like he wants it so bad, you know. I don't want to say too much, but yeah, I don't think so either. But I don't want to say enough that I, I'm kind of sounding like I don't want him to do well, because I really do. Oh, bye, Kathy. Thank you for stopping by. I appreciate it. Have a great night. It was nice seeing you. So, yeah. Well, I think I'm going to head off as well. You know, I'm glad you guys were here. I'm glad I was able to say, you know, a quick, hope well, quick. It's been, I've been on eating granola and playing with the cat. So it's, it's been a little bit, but I'm glad you guys were able to pop on. I'm glad I was able to say hi for a few, um, because I wasn't able to earlier. Hopefully you enjoyed the interview with Robert. He's an amazing man. Um, he's got a great history and we love Robert Fleischman. Guys, I hope you have an awesome weekend. Hopefully, all of our technical things are resolved by next week. If not, I'm just going to do the news on regular video and, and put it out that way. Thank you, Sylvia. Thank you so much for being here, and thank you for your support. All of you, thank you for your support. You guys are just amazing, and that's why I just feel like I had to come on and, and say hi to you guys for a little bit because you are just awesome, really. I just think that... You know, you guys are just amazing. And we appreciate each and every one of you. Bye, Piper. Good night to all of you. Have an amazing week weekend. And really, just kick back, relax, enjoy. Bye, Carrie. And, you know, just, just enjoy whatever it is you're going to do. Good friends, family, kitty cats, whatever. Enjoy. We love you guys. Mwah. Lots of love to each and every one of you. Be strong. Be strong. Be kind. And always remember, keep rocking. Love you guys too. Thank you. Good night, guys. Happy weekend. Bye. Now, how do I get out? <laughs> I'll figure it out. Good night, guys.